Well, hello, everybody. What an exciting time to be in the energy business in North Carolina. We've heard a lot about it this morning. We're going to be hearing more throughout the day. And uh, in the face of all this change, there's one thing that, uh, representing Duke Energy, that I want to say will never change with respect to serving our customers. And that is we are going to continue to provide you safe, affordable, reliable, and increasingly clean electricity uh, throughout North Carolina. So that won't change. But let me talk about three things we're doing to modernize how we deliver service to you here in North Carolina. Um, the first I'm going to touch on is the growth of utility scale solar in eastern North Carolina. Then I want to talk a little bit about how natural gas has allowed us to write the next chapter in coal-fired generation. And finally, I want to talk a little bit about how we as a company are refocusing on customer value. So let's talk a little bit about solar. Solar, despite um, the cost coming down, clearly the costs are coming down, despite the subsidies that are provided to solar at the state and federal levels, unfortunately, it is still the most expensive generation we bring on, onto our system. So we've got customers who want solar at any cost, and we have customers who cannot afford to pay a dollar more per month for their electricity. So what do we do? Well, what we're trying to do at Duke Energy is find affordable solar for our customers. How do we do that? How are we setting about that? We're trying to accomplish that through utility-scale solar. Utility-scale solar is some three times less expensive than rooftop solar. And so we have, last month, announced um, a $500 million commitment to solar in eastern North Carolina at the utility scale. We're going to be purchasing, with regulatory approval, three projects. We're buying power from five additional projects for 278 megawatts of utility scale solar out of eastern North Carolina. So our goal is to bring that solar but do it as affordably as we can for our customers. We're also enjoying the benefit, and our customers are, of what's happening with natural gas. So um, natural gas has allowed us, since 2005, to close half of our coal plants. Seven coal plants we've shut down in North Carolina. Half of our coal plants retired, largely because of the benefit that natural gas brings, we have built five brand new combined cycles since 2005. And what that's allowed us to do is to reduce CO2 emissions by 28% in North Carolina since 2005, reduce SOx emissions by 92%, and NOx emissions by 62%, all since 2005. People don't realize, but a third of our generation fleet is non-emitting now. And we're proud of that. And we think there's an opportunity there to understand that we can get where many people want us to go, but we need to manage the transition smartly. More natural gas opportunities are coming to eastern North Carolina. We have announced that we are a joint venture partner in the 550-mile uh, natural gas pipeline that's going to come down the I-95 corridor. Why are we excited about that? We're excited about that because it is going to bring give Eastern North Carolina access to low-cost, reliable Marcellus and Utica shale gas. When the polar vortex hit last winter, the production price of natural gas really didn't vary that much, but the delivered price went from about $4 per MMBTU to over $100 per MMBTU. We think building this second pipeline is going to help mitigate the risks of um, shocks in the price of natural gas. We're excited because we're going to be bringing that lower cost energy for the benefit of our customers, but we're also opening up economic development opportunities for eastern North Carolina, and that's something to get excited about. We also, for eastern North Carolina, are investing by buying back about 700 megawatts of generation that's owned by the North Carolina Eastern Municipal Power Agency, or NACEMPA. Um, by purchasing, by repurchasing those assets, what we're going to do for the Duke Energy Progress customers 
is we're going to be able to long-term lower fuel costs for those customers by bringing those assets back into our system average pricing. And for Nakempa customers, we're going to give them the opportunity to get out of what has been disproportionately high electric rates in eastern North Carolina, thus making eastern North Carolina more competitive for new economic development. Last thing I'll touch on is that we are really focusing our, co our company through the customer lens. We are asking the question around everything we do is what's in it for the customer. We used to build our company and have built our, our company for 110 years based on increasing volumes. Well, our, cu our customers are using less electricity. They're becoming more efficient, and we're actually helping them become more efficient. But our future is not based on volume. It's based on value. So we are taking a fresh look at everything we do through the customer value lens. One example is communication. Our surveys actually show that a customer who's experiencing an outage, but who gets communication about why that outage happened and when the estimated time of restoration is going to occur, is actually more satisfied than the customer who never had the outage at all. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to be putting customers in, in outages to increase satisfaction. No, we're going to, we're 99.97% reliable today, and we're going to continue to do everything we can to keep the system reliable. But what it tells us, and, and should tell you, is the power of communication. If we are communicating with our customers, they are much more satisfied with us as a company. So we are going to be, um, we are in the process of enhancing our systems to be able to give people more information. We're helping people recycle uh, old refrigerators that are energy hogs. We're helping them be more efficient. For customers in, in neighborhoods that are income qualified, we're offering to come into their home, do a survey, um, bring in uh, energy saving materials at no cost to them. So we are challenging ourselves to look through the customer lens and the customer value lens with respect to everything we're doing at Duke Energy. So in those three ways, we're really modernizing how we're thinking about things, how we're approaching what we do, and um, we're excited about the future. Um, you think about the investment, the $500 million in solar for Eastern North Carolina, the investment in the pipeline for the benefit of Eastern North Carolina, and the investment we're making in repurchasing those assets from Nakempa, and we're investing over $3.5 billion at Duke Energy in Eastern North Carolina. So we're big believers in your future, and uh, we appreciate all you do. We appreciate you hosting this energy forum, and thank you for letting us be a part of it. Mm -hmm.